the computers. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Manly One, Brapin, Bratong. Welcome, Kun Kom Wong. Am I correct? Kom Wong. Yeah. Kom, Kom Wong. Actually, my, my name is Gan Jani, or you can say Gan. It's okay. Right. Very good. So, Gan, I yes. probably say Ku Gan Jani and Ku Ka Yes. Ajan Pen Jan, thank you very much for your support. All right. And also, okay, Ajan Annie. And Ajahn Chirawan. Ajahn Pimusan now, she's, she's in Bangkok, right? Shall we start right away now? Three, two, one, right. <clears throat> Can you see the screen? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Very good. Nice to see it now, right. So what is the module one that we're using? What is the Moodle one that we are using today? Ajahn Marie one. What is the Moodle one and module, module one we are using today? Uh, Moodle one is about uh, the review of the uh, te te teaching techniques and how to uh, manage the class. Uh, in the classroom, just like the activity that student, the teacher can use in the classroom, just like bingo to a line like this. Great. So, Ajahn Wachini, I like that you enjoy eating and learning with us. Ajahn Pinchan, how many units are there in unit one? Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, Three. right? No worries. Right. Yeah, Three unit. units. Right. I I heard that you starting unit two already, module two already. Congratulations. So Ajahn Simsak, what are the today's workshop today? What we're going to do? Can you tell us please? Uh, um I'm not sure where we are we are review we review module one and we are go on to module two, isn't it? Uh Today, our live session, it's about like, are we going to uh, catching up first? And second, uh -huh. what are we going to do, Shok the Week? Uh, setting aims and practice activities. Right. right. And also... And the third one, we are going uh, to questions and answer. Wow, that's great. That That is how we're going to do today. And... I think probably that we're going to take about one hour, right? One hour only. Hopefully that we're going to finish more. Let's start with the catch up, right? Mm -mm -mm. Thank you very much for three things. The first thing that everyone now joined the forums in the Facebook. And I learned a lot with you, right? What, uh, Annie, when did you join the forum? On Wednesday or Thursday? Uh, last week I was joined on on Monday last Monday. Mm -hmm. And I found that Ajahn Pinchan is very helping hand for me. She always remind uh how she's progressed and also tell everyone that starting doing the different thing. Thank you very much, Ajahn Pinchan. So Shoktawi, do you think that uh what is the best times or what is the best hour for you uh, to study online asynchronous courses when um for me it depends because uh at the working days like monday to friday so we always at school and when i have nothing to do so i just follow on the like forum or the like website operated cousin but anyway i think after school or maybe in the evening before bedtime. So that's good because it's quite easy to access or it's quite um, uh, a, a short content. We can study for a few minutes and then we can finish that. Very good. That's very good. So I found that making every day, it could be one of benefit, right? Ajahn Penchan, again, can you tell me what is your uh, right how can you make it fast, right? Yes. 
I I just reading and go on the exercise first. Then when when the the question is come, I I will I go back to read read the detail. So I go to the question first. Very good. That's a very good technique as well. Ajahn Ganjani, let's go back a little bit for your like a learning progress, right? Uh, do you think it's difficult to access the asynchronous courses of British cousin? What do you think? Microphone, please. Oh, sorry. I think if we have enough time, like we can, we can do like a, we can flow it until the end. So I think um, for me, weekend is the best time. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. That's what we did speaking about. All right. So Adan Kasim Sak, have you tried any idea of module one yet? And what happened? Um, for me, module one uh, talks about how, how can we manage uh, activity in classroom. Right. And uh, many activities, many um, I mean, many things in, in classroom that the teachers can deal with their learners, something mm -hmm. like this. Great. All right. Uh, Ajahn Wachiri and Ajahn uh, Prapin, also, so Ajahn Mariwan as well, we talking about uh, what did we learn from Manchu 1. I heard that uh, from the message in the forum, I saw that you post a lot of mingle activities, right? Can you, uh, Guy, three of you, talk a little bit about your three examples of Mingo activity that you use in the classroom, please. Okay, uh, I have implemented the like, Mingo in the classroom. Uh, mm. uh, I divided the student into two groups like A and B. Uh, student A needs to ask him uh, for advice and students they need to give some suggestion. Actually uh I adapt from uh general Mingo like students need to have the table to ask the, the question and write down uh, the answer in the table like take notes. Uh but in in my activity students need to walk around to ask uh for giving some advice, just like, oh, my friends, I have a terrible headache, what should I do? And then the other student, oh, you need to have some medicine like this. Uh, for the student, and they need, need a lot of problems support. They need to ask like, uh, I, got, I got one from mass, what should I do this term like this? And then they ask, uh, walk around to, to ask and answer just like, asking and giving the suggestion. Uh, what I have found from this activity, uh, so Mingo, uh, I, I have tried a lot uh, since I, I finished boot camp. And this mm -hmm. activity, I have found that the student can uh, create uh, new new language that uh, actually the student tried to uh, like use the given sentence, like example from the teacher, but in the class, uh, there are many students that they can use uh, like the language, just like, oh, I have broken heart. My friend, what should I do like this? <laughs> oh, you, you, you should try a new man like this. Uh, they quite enjoy when they're doing the activity. This That's... Is, uh, that, yeah. That's interesting. The topic that related to the student interested, interested that would make the speaking or listening actually more fun as well. That's a great idea. Maliwan. Anyone else that can share, please? About the Mingo's activity. Fine. Okay. Um, for me, I, I'm trying to use Mingo with uh, my student. So... Uh, let them ask about free time activities. So mm -hmm. uh, let them uh, use the question, how often do you, uh, for example, uh, how often do you go to school? How often do you play football? How often do you read books? 
something like that. And then uh, some, some of students try to ask a friend in Thai uh, because uh, they not confident to, to, to speak English, but I'll um, recommend them to try to speak English because uh, let them to practice English and listening in English. Wow, that's great. Ajahn Prapin, Ajahn Mary Wan, and all the other friends, how? I really like that something that we've been through in a synchronized courses from the British Council and we tried in the real classroom. And I found that this is going to be the starting of our learning together. Right. Remember that the advice from Unit 1, try things from this course in your own classroom. Right. And also try things more than once. Mm -mm. <laughs> Shall we worry about something that's difficult? What do you think? Uh, for me, students cannot uh, low proficiency and did not face the foreigner. It's very difficult at the first time, but I use a simple language of English and uh, swap with the Thai, so they are confident. Great. I also read your comments that you also use Thai or L1 to help them understanding. What is the, we're going to talk it a, a little bit later in our more uh, like a, uh, uh, like a p presentations PowerPoint here. But again, we try something, don't worry. All right, just this is the first time. The second time, the third time, it could be better, everyone. All right, <clears throat> think about, and also when you try something, we can improve it. As I say, the better become the next time, every time, right? And also, when you do it something and you get used to it, you're getting used to it, it's going to be easier, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Now, let me have a look on the setting or practice aim that we're going to talk about today. And then... Shall we talking about the aims of our courses today? Mm -mm -mm. Let's go. Right. Have you seen that? Right. Is it clear? Yes. Great. Yes. yes. Right. Who, uh, as I asked you, Prapin, Ajahn Marie one and Ajahn Pinjan tried it. Who else tried it before? Yeah, we, I used to try this. How's it like? Can you tell us how do you find it? Yes, for, for this activity, um, it's quite uh, easy and noisy. But, <laughs> Great. Yes, so I, but I love this a lot because I, I can walk around and then uh, I, I I walk to the, the weaker students that uh, they cannot or they shy cannot do this activity. I, I just help them to to improve their pronunciation. Yeah, they love it also that make them confi more confident. I have found that many of you mentioned about like uh, the student cannot no doubt about the things that they taught, right? And this is one of challenges that you found in an activity. Do you have any solution to help this? <clears throat> Please. Ajahn Ganjani, what do you think? Because my many of our friends think that probably that we face some issues during they ask the student to take note while they asking talking and listening to their friend how can we support them um maybe it's hard for them to like take note because um i i think the the skills of listening of them is okay but the writing maybe sometimes it's not so 
um, for the first time, maybe we need to like teach them like uh, some vocabulary about that first, and we just go through the the activities after because um this activity is quite good. I I think it's very very good because the core of English is communication, right? So we need to like uh, do every every hour of teaching to make make them try to speak and listening even they can like a take notes maybe we can correct them after the class or before the class i think like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so do you think that they will write the long sentences or will they only write the short expressions or word mr choktui when they do the mingle activities Um, actually, the Minko, I I have tried many many times since I have the experience from many training or many work workshops. So, um, the thing that I find out when the student they are weak and they are like, uh, combined with the activities. I think, um, this activity that's what our like friends in this. Uh, webinar that they mentioned like easy and noisy as well but I think it will help the low student a lot to be survivor like uh, they can they can find the answer like find someone who if they can read the question and ask friends for four or five people more so they can take note their nickname and then I think it will be like the enrichment of the <clears throat> the lesson that the student can participate. All right, that that that's one of the good solution. Thank you very much, and I agree with. No, to me, normally when we ask the student to ask and note something, it's like tick, right? Marks, or even like just short names. Who did that or who didn't do that things? We don't really ask them to write something wrong like a long sentence or uh, like a paragraphs so i think that we found that the worksheet or the handout that we provide could help them to make sure that they can have the target language using or you can support them about all right girls or boys and you can ask them to take something like that right so that might be very interesting from the, our lessons today because what is the aim of this chat book? What is the aim of these activities? What do you think? Ajahn Penjan, please. I think this activity is encourage the student to listening and speaking, try to right. speak it, even if it doesn't write or it, it doesn't actually correct, but at least they listen and try to speak is a uh, success, I think. Right. By the end of the class, the student will be able to speak. Speak. Ah, or convert yes. about... About something. <laughs> the, yeah, about what? Can you give me an example? <laughs> about uh, <laughs> the, the thing that they like or don't like or something about themselves. All right. Yeah, about their favorite food. All right. All right. What is the topic for the Mingo activities? The topic speaking, Ajahn Prapin, what do you think? You can please. All right. What do you think it could be the topics of like uh, the speaking activity that they used? Um. So I think uh student should uh, be able to speaking and listening and then uh student can report uh, information from friend to the teacher. Right. So what you, what the topic could be? The topic about the past activities or the favorite places? What do you think that you use in um, the classroom? Uh, like a free time activity. All right, all right. That's one of our choice now, right? Yes. So let's go. This is uh oh. 
What is the name of the activity, Ajahn Ganjani? This phase, right? Yes. You mean the second phase, like a setting aim and practice activities? What is the name of this activity? What do you think, Ajahn Ganjani? Um, Can I help? <laughs> yes, yes, please. <laughs> true or lying? Yeah, the truth oh, the and a lie. So, right, great. Vilasini, you can yes, jump you. in if you can, okay? Right. Who has tried this activity before? Please. Uh, I did. Oh. Um, uh, uh, may I share? Great, that's a uh, good opportunity to learn. Please, do. Uh, I, I actually have tried many times when, when I enrolled the program and then I did it different. And also the last week, uh, like the previous week that I have tried with my class. So I try the truth and a lie, but actually I allow the student to prepare three sentences. It's about like two facts and one sentence for a lie, but, mm -hmm. Uh, because um, my class, there are about 37 students. So I divided them into six group and one group will be seven. And the, the thing is that uh, I allow them to put their objects uh, in the center of the table. And then they need to prepare uh, the sentence first. And after that, it will be one reader, one by one until the end of the like the person in the table. And then if they are correct, they, they get for their friends. And then the correct answer, they can get their thing back. But if they cannot correct, that means their objects will be in the center of the like the table group, the group table. So this one is very fun. And until when I finish, I say finish, they still keep like going and asking and trying to keep, it will be like game, but actually they haven't known that they are learning about it, like speaking and listening. So this one, this, this it will be quite a game, but uh, it will be the, like the activity that can motivate learner to participate, even they are weak or they are like uh, good at English for speaking and listening. I like that you prepare, help the student prepare the language before they speak and guess whether with one, which one is correct or which one is aligned. Ajahn Pimpisa, from the pictures in the slide, what grammar did they use? What grammar, Ajahn Pimpisa, from the slide, what grammar? Is it the present tense or past tense? What do you think? Ajahn Pimbisa, can you hear us, right? She's, she said in the chat box that she on MRT in Bangkok. Right. Thank you. I see that. Great. Okay. Right. Ajahn, Ajahn Wanchiri, what do you think? Do they use like a past tense or future tense in the activities from the template here? Wahini, you call me, you ask me, right? Yes, please. Uh, uh, past ten. All right. So, in the cinema, right? What did they see? And then we can talk yeah. about that, right? Yeah. Which one is a line? I can see the paper, the crayon, or pencils, right? So now, can I ask you, everyone, write the aim of the class in the chat box, please. Can you write the aim of this activity in the chat box, please?
Don't forget to start from by the end of the class. Good. Mm, I like it. Right. I like it. So. Right. So I, I, I agree that the student will be able to speak and answer about the past activity. Right. Or what did they do? Right. What did they see? Right. So it's it. We need to mention about like uh the durations of times and the skills as well. Right. We will be able to ask and answers about. Right. You you correct Ajahn Gassim that you probably like thinking about that. This is could be writing and listening skill. But again, we'll have them speaking as well, right? Don't forget that this is the more, more speaking and listening activity, but we help them with the preparations writing. So they can have some language prepared before they start talking with their friends. This is the aim, right? So great guy, good, good job, right? Normally I will use by the end of the class the student will have, right? I copy from British Carlson's learn to ask and that, oh, oh, yeah, all information, but we need to more specify, right? Right, Ajahn Pim Pisa, right? You're correct about that. Uh, yeah, we need Ajahn Annie, you talk about past activity. Listen for gist, great. Listen for gist. I think that's like a, the gist and detail, it could be about something that we can talk during the conversation, right? Very good, Ajahn Pen Jan. And Ajahn, let's see, about the free time. Uh -uh. I don't think that's going to be about free time, no. Right, let's check again. All right, but no worry. Think that you can thinking about more into add the ideas, whether you can extend then actually in your classroom. That could be nice as well. Let's go with the next activity. Uh oh, what makes these activity good? Uh -huh. What makes these activity good? Ajahn Mary one, please. Truth and a lie and also mingle. Uh, I have I haven't implemented this activity, but I think uh, this activity uh, encourages the student to uh, write something by using uh, the past simple term. Uh, it can help students uh, practice about writing skill, and also they can ask and answer the question from the other things. Uh, so they they can learn both writing and listening, and also how how to ask and answer the question. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's great. Uh, Jan Marie, one don't forget these activities mean like a uh. uh Mingle well, uh, and truth uh, and a lie, not only one activities, right? Uh, Ajahn Kuani, can you have uh, any idea what makes these activities good, please? So, for truth or lie activity, it can be complicated and difficult to understand that, that we need to learn more about giving clear instructions about. Uh, about the activity that you need to give to your student, but you can use English pictures or meme and even Thai to help students understand uh, that very nice to introduce to the, the topics, any topics that we use or we would like to to, uh, to use with our students, with, which um, is which important for using English and Thai in class and, and how can, and how uh, we can plan different types of lessons. Very good. Aims, right. That's very, very good. Thank you very much. Have a look on this one. 
Which one that you agree more? Which one that you agree more? Written one, two, three, four, five. Five sentences below. Which one that you agree more, please? I agree that mm -hmm, the information is very personal, all right, and, and it's more memorable because I think that when we're talking about ourselves and our experience, it seems that people remember and use it easier than the other person's information. Do you agree with this one or not? Or which of these items that... All right, Ajahn Pimusa, you can say it. Thank you. I agree with... Okay. I think the information is personal and more memorable. Mm. I agree with this sentence. Because if they know their information, so they can communicate with their friends and speak it out freely. Good. That's good. That's you. I'm in my team now. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyone else? Can you talking about one, two, three, four, five? Uh, actually, for, for me, I I think the first one is suitable for my student because they did not have any chance to use English. So the first one is value for my student. Mm, the, the, don't forget that group work or interactions patterns like a mingo it's like a pair work and also like a, also the truth and a lie we can play in a group so this is create more opportunity or positive reinforcement to learn from each other and they have chance to speak more very good thank you what else can you agree with uh, for me, I think teacher is free to help individual students. Uh, when we mingle to the group and listen to them, so we can help support and let them like gain their confidence to speak out. And mm. also, uh, the student can practice the language that they have studied. So the sentence that they prepare or the sentence that they form, so it will help them to increase their confidence. Mm -hmm. Ajahn Pimbisa, you raise your hand again. You can say that, please. Um, I think I agree with number one. Students speak more in class or maybe in group. Mm -hmm. Explain, please. Um, because it's some information about themselves. So they can tell and they can know with which one mm -hmm. is a truth or a lie for their friends. I think that that would be good for them to practice. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I think that uh, number five, it's a bit hard for everyone. Can you give me why number five, it's hard for teachers and how can you make it, please? <clears throat> Pimisa, uh, you can lower your hand <laughs> because I always think that you want to speak. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe mm. something is is not okay with my telephone. Okay, I understand now because oh, I think that. So sorry, Miss Pimisa, I want to speak. Miss Pimisa, I want to speak. <laughs> no, no, no. Mm. Right. Okay. So sorry. No, no worry. It's not a big deal. Please. I think uh, the the last one, the teacher can check it for common common is error. Errors. Difficult, difficult because sometimes we need students to speak uh, whatever, maybe try to let them speak first and then we will check the, the error later. All right. So for the speaking and listening activity, how can you check their common errors? 
uh, for me, uh, when when I have uh, implemented the activity like this, when the teacher walk around, the teacher uh, can take notes as well what uh, the error that uh, the student in class always makes like some mistakes. And then the uh, teacher don't need to correct the error uh, at that time, maybe after the class, so you, you can uh, tell them what what is the uh, right answer. For example, my student about uh, how to use model works like, I should do something. Let's uh, the student uh, speak, ask and answer first. But uh, if you walk around and, and you find that, oh, uh, the, the, this student, you need to help right now. So you can say, uh, like, oh, I should go like this. But uh, for some mistake and error, so you can correct after uh, you need the activity. And you write out the board and check together. Is this right or wrong sometimes? Then you say about this, like this. And then the, like this. Uh, this technique we have learned from bootcamp, but I, I, I can't remember if you thought what is the technique. Oh, um, we <laughs> all right. When when we that's great. That's good question. When we correct the common errors or we check the error, it's mean that we correct, we collect the sentence from the monitoring session, right? While they speaking with the partner, you know, in the group, the the teachers monitor the uh and the the teachers can note down some error that you found out or even some written. Uh, when they prepare the language to use and the truth and the line, we can have it seen. Do you think that we can show the names or tell that, oh, what we, Washini, your sentence is wrong. What do you think? Can we change oh, something no, like no, that? No. that you know, just uh, maybe the, the, the mistake and the error of the sentence or words or grammar like this, but we don't need to say false mistakes. All right. So it's good idea that we collect. Uh, sometimes we collect the uh, comments, errors, and we give the feedback in the end of the class, and we have the language analyzed as well. All right. Ajan Kasim, how you can check your comment errors from the speaking and listening activities? Uh, my student always uh make errors in uh speaking. And even the uh, written uh, task, I um, I mean, I correct their errors as soon as uh, they, they did it. And maybe after after they, they hand in my uh, their task, I correct. That's that's good. That's good. That's good idea. Very good. So the the ways that the different teachers use to correct or check common errors, it's helped them to improve their language. Don't forget that mm, you we shouldn't like correct them promptly, not every time. Yeah. Sometimes we just let them use it or let them make mistakes because uh mistakes make perfect. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Excuse me. Like just like let them go. Correct me a while ago. That's right. error. <laughs> that's good. Thank you, Mr. Ta. That that's that's different stage of the learners. Okay. Right. When when we are adult, we have a different perspective. But start with thinking about like the students that they starting learning. All right. We normally help them help them practice more. But when we are adult learner, sometimes we help each other to shape our language. That's good. You also notice how I help your speaking. Thank you very much. Don't forget, you can help me as well. <laughs> Someone want to respond to this problem, please. Fine. <clears throat> Ajahn Ganjani, no? Yes. All right. What problem might you have with these activity in your classroom? We already talked a little bit. Um, for this mingle and the truth align, right? Yes, please. Um, from my school, because of my school is like a not a big school, so it's mean like we a little bit far, 
and then the student mostly speak Thai. So I I try every hour. So I I try to speak with them in English. So but they quite not like a not confident as much like a speak for longer just only for short. But but I think they can understand but cannot um speak out. You know so. Maybe we can use just like uh, the easy word or something like um a little bit lower of their skill. But I, I think um the truth and a lie because I haven't used it yet. So I I think I'm gonna use it for for them next week, and I will tell you later about the their response. <laughs> All right. Don't forget, we have the next module to try every week. Yep. You have yep. to uh, read and then check with whether you can try. Okay. Yeah. All right. We all we are, we have already talked about when we do speaking actually or listening. It's like a more what we call. It's the class is lively and it's mean the noises. How you can how can you control this thing happen in your class? Right. Please. Um, we use ATG attention getting technique. Ah, like, explain it, more. Um, sometimes when my noisy class and I want to like interrupt for maybe some of the student might fail of the activity, so I will do like class class and then they say yes yes. That's mean everyone need to be ready to listen what they like what they are going to do for next. Mm -hmm. What do you use again? Attention grabber, grabbing. Uh, yeah. Um, attention getting techniques. Attention getting technique, not grabbing, no. Technique. I also write this is for everyone. So A G T. Yep. Can you show an example that you use in your classroom? Uh, actually, yes, I actually because uh because we we say class class and then I will let the student to uh grab grab. For two time, that's mean they will put their pens, even they are writing or taking note or doing anything. So that's mean they will put everything, their hands down, uh, pens down and everything down on the table. And then they just grab, grab. Cool. That's, mean, that's yeah. cool one. Thank you very much. You remind me about how you can control the class with uh, AGT, right? Anyone else that you can share about your AGT that you use in your classroom before we go next? Four, three. For me, I'm just singing, <laughs> and then and then there's just like a quiet, like listening to me, and then I'm keep going teaching. <laughs> help me to under help me understanding about what you did again, please. Uh, I mean, I, like you sing the whole session, the whole song. What what is it? No, oh. just only like a little bit, like um um. When in the classroom is more noisy, you know, I'm just because I have like a small microphone, so I just singing, so keep singing until they're quiet, and then I keep teaching. <laughs> that, that's a smart teacher. Ooh. Yeah. Anyone else have any techniques that do can control the noise in the classroom, or even like a stop start activities before they finish or before they begins? Five, four. Three. For me, I ring a bell. Ah, that's it. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> right. Okay. And then yes. what? 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 It, <laughs> what, what, is, what does it mean? What? What does it mean? Ringing the bell. Stop or start. Stop and start both. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So the way that you control your class, the way that you can you keep your classroom lively in the same time, but within the rules, right? Thank you, teacher, for sharing this. We are about to end our PTT. Don't worry. I think that we finished earlier today because you guys sharing a lot and then you understanding what we're doing today. Right. Okay. Now have a look at the aims of the practice. <clears throat> that we use here. Uh oh, how many aims are there? Four. 
four. All right. Four. Right. So look at the look at the aims number one to number four now. I would ask you, everyone now, thinking about that, how, what word or phrases or grammar do the student need to use or understand what is the final activity will show the teachers that student can do this. All right. So let's thinking about this one minute before, oh, just 15 seconds before we start. <laughs> All right. All right, Ajahn Pimbisa, I assign you with the big breakout room and Ajahn Brapin, Ajahn Vashiri. Let's go to the breakout room now. I open all the room. Three, two, one, let's go. Please join your breakout room. Very good. Please join your breakout room. To any. All right. Kukanjani, please Me join. Me too, right? Yeah. I asked okay. I already. To any. All right. To any, you're going to meet Ajahn Mary Wan and Ajahn Pinjan. All right, Ajahn Any, Ajahn, you're going to meet Ajahn Mary Wan and Pinjan. Please go. Can you join? Great, thank you. Postcard. They are making. Ah, they are speaking. Yeah. They are writing. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's right. About writing some their holidays, something like that. What do you think? Uh, no, no holiday is 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 talking. Talking. Right? Oh. Mm. Not sure. But, I'm but, not but, sure. What about postcard? So postcard is the like the product that they are going to produce after. Mm. Mm. Oh I yeah, because. They can, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mean like the student can speak about their holidays, and after that, they can write on the postcards, something like that. What do you think? Yeah, they can write about their yeah. holiday and send some postcard or yeah, yeah, back to friends. Yeah. So, so what about they, they have, um? I, I think first. What Excuse me, what kind of grammar are they going to use in writing postcard? I think the past uh, tense. Past tense. Past tense. All right. And what about the phrases that is going to use the target language? Please help. The target language. I went to Pattaya last week. All right. So <laughs> maybe it's like a kind of collocation, right? Mm -hmm. Went to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Was that go skiing? Something like that. So in the postcard or even adjective that you can use. Right. Okay. Talk. You have some more time. Yeah. <laughs> uh,
Right, uh, the student need to know about the vocabulary about how they pack, so just by like using the like direction. Uh, okay. the direction to the and the face is just like, uh, next next week I will go to something. Uh, next week I'm going to that. So the final activity for now. Been speaking, talking, okay, it's, it's talking about plan. That's a bit like that. Like using Mingo, do I? Yeah. 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 Let 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 me ask you about the grammar that you use for the holiday plans. What do they use? Uh, we can Finish. use both, uh, like present, uh, present continue as like I'm going to. Great. Okay. What about like uh the phrases or the word that they're going to use the target language? What I mean, what kind of sentence they're going to use talking? They're talking about the 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 their their future their future plans that they can use their. Uh, next uh, next week, next month, or the, the time words. All right. Okay. What else that they can use? Direction. All right. So you're talking about the directions in the holiday plans as well, right? Mm -hmm. like so somewhere, where is it? Mm -hmm. okay. So we, we need to think about the target language that they're going to use in the, in the lesson aim as well. Great. Thank you very much. I enjoy your listening, your talking. I'm going to the next room. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. This is the cannot hear you. What's the lesson aim that you discuss? Um the uh -huh. what is the lesson aim that you discuss? We are discussing one, two, three, and four. Mm, right. So what is the four? Because I think um I the other room they're talking about one, two, three. What about four? Okay, okay. Right. What is the language? what is the grammar that they're going to use in this one? Number four. Number four, we agree that uh they are they are talking about the future event. Right, mm. Good. Yes. I agree yes. with you. And what kind of the target language that the student going to talk or vocabulary that they're going to use, please? Future simple. Great. Future simple. What else that they're going to use? Phrases that they're going to use. Can you give an example, mm. please? Right. The mm. first, like the... Uh -uh. Like a first, like a next. Next. Uh -huh. Arrange a time to meet one, right? Yeah. Do you think it could be like a formal meeting or informal meeting? Uh, like a formal meeting. Formal, I think. Like a formal. That the student, they're going to attend, right? Like a workshop or some yeah. English camp or like a, the interview workshop before going to universities. Mm. Yeah. That's good. So we have some like a times, uh, adverbial of times that they can teach. What else? Uh, be going to. Good. Or will be, uh, will be, uh, will go, will, uh, for example, the sentence, um, 
uh, I will go to meet Mr. John. That's great. Next Thank you. Saturday. I enjoyed it. Thank you very much. I leave the, the room and then we end of the meeting. Right. Ting, ting, ting. Everyone in. Thank you, Kasim. We'll come back, Rapin. All right, we just wait for our friends coming. Dun, dun, dun. We're just waiting for our friends. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. <laughs> I like when you are in a small group. You're talking more. All right. I would do it often. <laughs> I would do it often when we because when you are in the small club, you are lively. Because we need to survive, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, myself as well. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm I'm survivor as well, right? Thank you very much. Uh, I enjoy a lot that you this you really discuss about like uh, uh the matters here, okay? Let's go with like uh, the group that's talking about the holiday plans, right? What kind of grammar that they're going to use, right? Uh, so our group, uh, we have discussed about, uh, so we can use like uh, present continuous arts or future symbol in, mm. this, in this objective of learning. Right. There's one group talking about write a postcard. Which group can you... Tell us a little bit more how you can create the lesson. What is the final activities for these activities? Um, actually, our group discuss about writing a postcard for uh, the activity by the end or product of the, uh, the lesson. But the thing is that after they finish postcard writing, so they need to show uh their postcard to friend and read like thing pair share that's it. all right that's great so after writing you also extend it with an act activity thing pair share that's good idea and what about the the number four i think that there's one group i'm enjoying the last one arrange the time to meet someone anyone off from your group can talk a little bit about the grammar and the phrases or even the final activity that you're using for number four please Okay, uh, um, for the first aim, uh, so we talk about uh, to rent a time to meet someone. I think we uh, students will be able to 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 use uh uh future tense, like uh first um uh we are going to meet someone, something like that. All right, that's that's good idea. And also, you can talk about the adverbial of times, right? Yes. <clears throat> right. Our lesson will finish soon, but in the breakout room, we also thinking about like a, how we can decide a student to work in pair or work in group. So we want the student to speak more. What else that we remember when we want them to practice English? What else? So I already mentioned that the student need to speak more in class in the group or pair work instead of speaking to the teachers. What do you think that we want to do more in our classes?
Chan Pen Chan, you need to turn your microphone on, please. <laughs> Maybe teacher need to help more with some student. Some uh, some student need need help more more than the other one. Maybe they can help together. Right. So think about when you help the student, it's my it's be more personal, right? And also you can free to help the student individually because you also notice that who will be get help more in each time. What else that we consider or we want to remember about when we practice our lessons? Please. Achan Pratong, I think you speak to your son, right? <laughs> He's still like a want to learn English with you. Oh, your daughter. All right. That's good. That's good. Mm. What else, Ajahn, that we can talk a little bit more? Ajahn, Kasim? Okay, wake up. You're not, you're really tired. I see that. Okay. <clears throat> so, individual work with the students, speak more, practice the same language that they study and also will help them to be like sometimes check their common areas that the things in the class that we can help them, right? So the ideas that we use today, it's from the module one. And we finished today about from the experience that you share among or towards the lesson module that we learned from the synchronized courses and also from the forum as well. So now we going to the a session of question and answers. Ding tong, you're happy, right? <laughs> when we come to this session. Tan -tan. Let's go. Question and answers. Right. Let's have a look at unit one and unit two and unit three. Ajahn Ganjani, what what have you learned from the same thing? Is it the same thing that you found from unit one? Do you need one, right? Yeah, from Mondu one. Do you think that is you can do this? You did this already in unit one. Yeah, yeah, I I did it. Um, the our I mean my students in the in the classroom, uh -huh. they quite like um shy, but I think they they understand, but they can't like uh, speak or they like not enough of confident to speak out and share or something like that so we need to so I need to like um, speak more and let them I mean like support them behind and let them speak first something like that or maybe making the games uh, like uh, many many games so but um, I think the limit, limit of them, like uh, we need to take more time to do something like that and keep doing something like this. Ah, uh, great. Yeah. What about you, Ajahn Annie and Ajahn Choktui? Did you, have you done num three things in unit two already? Uh, actually, I did uh, English modes and and not like translating like I did not like translating into Thai because I want my student to listen and practice listening in English. So the way to use more English, it will help my student to be more active to speak and to listen and to do what's their following activities. So I have tried unit two to my lessons. Right. Ajahn Annie, what do you think? Have have you done the three things from unit two already? Yeah, for unit two, um, I use this way to help and encourage my students to know both Thai and English. They look happy when they can answer or translate the words or phrases or even uh the sentences. Um not only the the gesture or meme, but I uh, using dictionary look up. It's a very competitive activity for them also for, for the smart classes. Yes. Great. 
So a Chan Pin Chan and a Chan Merli one. What about you need three? Do you think that you have done this thing already? Yes. I... <laughs> oh, I think uh, I understand more about how to use the lesson aim and to design my lesson to practice language more for my student. I try some example in the unit three to my student. But mm. not 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 all, just little by little. I will try again. Yes. As we say, not only the first time. Yeah. Oh baby, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Ajan Mary one, what do you think? Have you done or have you had any questions or problem from unit three yet? About unit three that helped me to uh, uh, to plan my activity uh, following the aims of the lesson. So I have the question in my by the end of this lesson, student will be able. So it can uh, help me and control all this activity that meant uh, the learning objective. And uh, I need to decide and and then encourage the student to practice more and more in class. Especially, um, I teach uh, a lot of students like different kind of uh, mm. like knowledge of each it's like different level. For a special English program, I can use uh, one hundred percent of English, but for like a few six six, so I I speak English first, and then if they don't just like oh. Uh, they don't know how to do the activity. Great. I need to be kind sometime. All right. But Thank you very much. The ways that you help your student and the ways that you understand more, it could be sometime a question or difficulty, but you already try the new things every day. Right. So before we leave, do you have any more question or problem? What would you like to discuss before we leave? Fine. Ajahn Kasim Sak? What do you think? Ajahn Prapin? Do you have any more questions to discuss? No? Thank you. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right. So before we leave today, Ajahn Pratong? Right. Can you tell us what we did today? The three things. What have we done the three things today workshops so far? Please. Microphone, please. We, we discussed about uh, the lesson aim and the important uh, the important of uh, practicing speaking of the student and the activity uh, like a uh, mingle that we use in that we do in class great thank you very much that's all everyone right thank you and also we end up with uh, some questions and answers here Thank you a lot. <laughs> you like this template? We did this. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> yeah. I like it. So give yourself reward today. All right. And I would love to, uh, who can do the screenshot for me? Because I want to do the recording. All right. Who wants to do the screenshot for us, please? All right. Bye bye. Who want to do the screenshot? I can talk to you. Can you do the screenshot? <laughs> Five, four, three. Bye bye. Yeah 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 yeah.